Hey guys, welcome back for today's video. I'm really excited because I'm going to be going through all of my April empties. I have a basket here full of stuff. I think there's 16 items, so I'm going to try and get through them fairly quickly. Um, I have a variety of stuff. I have like skincare, hair care, makeup, so I have lots of goodies to go through and just give you guys my thoughts and opinions on them. So make sure you guys are subscribed down below. Make sure you hit the bell notifications right beside the subscribe button so that way you are notified of all my future uploads. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with hair first. I have three hair products here. These are all drugstore products. I do find a lot of my hair products at my local dollar store they carry like name brand stuff for like four dollars it's really crazy these two items i actually got at the dollar store for four dollars each and these are both by schwarzkopf i hate saying that word it's such a weird word but i think that's how you say it um so you can find these like at your drugstore um and they are like normally around like 10 or so dollars each i think so i love a good deal and i loved both of these products um this one is the got to be guardian angel gloss finish flat iron balm so it's like a spray um heat protectant for your hair um i really like the smell on this and i feel like it did a good job of making my hair like more glossy or shiny and hopefully it protected my hair from heat styling because I do straighten my hair a lot so yeah I would pick this up again if I ever found it at the dollar store again would I pay um, a drugstore price probably but I do feel like there are some other heat protected sprays that I do want to try in the future so I probably won't try this one again for a while unless like I said I do find it at the dollar store then I'll probably pick it up again but aside from that um, I'm not going to repurchase it right away. And then this is by the same brand, Schwarzkopf, and this is the Fiber Force Fortifying Sealer for overprocessed hair. So this is like a leave-in conditioner, and oh my gosh, you guys, first of all, it smells freaking amazing. Okay, I shouldn't say it smells... Oh, there's actually a little glob left in there. Um... I shouldn't say it smells amazing, but it definitely smells like a salon product. Like, you know how salon hair products smell versus, like, drugstore products? Um, I feel like there is a difference there, but this one actually smells like salon quality, um, and it worked absolutely amazing in my hair. Like, like it made my hair so incredibly soft, and it just felt like it helped with my, my split ends and stuff like that, and just the overall dryness of my hair, because I do have lightened hair, so it can get pretty dry. Um, and also, like, it made my hair so easy to brush through when it's wet, um, which I find is a huge problem with me. Um, because my hair is lightened, it does tangle a lot easier. So this really, really helped just combat that. And I had no problems brushing through my hair when it was wet at all. So I really, really like this. I would definitely pick this up again, even if I just bought it at the drugstore for full price. Um, I would definitely buy it because it's just that good. And then the last hair product I used up is by John Frieda and I was actually sent this product a while back um, to test out and I freaking love it. It is so good for a drugstore purple shampoo. It is so hard to find a good drugstore purple shampoo um, and this one worked wonders. Like it literally, after one wash, I noticed a difference in my hair. Um, it does say on the top here, results in one wash. So I was like, okay, let's see how you know, this is going to go because that's a pretty big claim um, for a drugstore brand. And no joke, I saw results right away. Like, it made my hair look so much more, um, like, cool tone, like, icy blonde as opposed to, like, brassy. So, I would definitely buy this again. Um, I would definitely pick it up at the drugstore. I think it's around $10 to buy, and it's definitely worth it. I've tried many other purple shampoos, um, including salon brands and stuff like that, and this worked just as well if not better than other ones I've tried so definitely recommend this. I think I forgot to say what this is called um so this is the Violet Crush for Blondes Intense Purple Shampoo so that is what it's called and it's by John Frieda. Moving on to skincare I have two lotions here um so the first lotion is by Cake Beauty don't mind the dirtiness of it I have tanning lotion all over the bottle um, but this is the milk made totally to die for indulgent body milk cream it says that it's infused with candied oat milk and it is soothing and beautifying 
Um, this is actually created in Canada, so this is like a Canadian brand, so I'm super happy to support a brand that is made in Canada. And it's cruelty free and vegan, and yeah, so this also contains marshmallow root extract, shea butter, and oak mil oat milk concentrate. Um, and it's like a slow, it says it's slowly whipped to create a uniquely weightless texture and it's formulated without like harsh chemicals. Um, so I really, really like that. This I picked up at Walmart and I really did enjoy it. It definitely was moisturizing on my skin. It didn't leave my skin greasy at all. Um, and it has a nice scent to it. Um, I don't think I'll repurchase it anywhere in the near future just because I have found other lotions that I like better than this one but it is a good overall lotion if you're looking for one to try out um, and you can pick this up at Walmart and then the other lotion I have here is by Soul Body again very dirty bottle um, this is a tanning lotion and it just kind of got all dirty and I never cleaned it uh, but this is the Gradual Sunless Tanning Lotion by Soul Body, and I like this. Um, I wouldn't say I loved it, but it was a good gradual tanning lotion. It's affordable. Um, it has a nice scent to it. I think it smells kind of like, yeah, it's kind of got like a coconutty scent to it almost. And yeah, I mean, I feel like it worked well. Like I didn't find that it was like streaky or anything like that. I feel like I got a pretty even tan when I used it. Um, so yeah, I did like this, but I don't think I will repurchase it just because I do prefer more of like a mousse tan or like a foam tanner or whatever. Like I just don't really like lotion tanners that much. I'm um, not sure why, it's just I really prefer like the ones you put on with like a mint and stuff like that and see like an instant difference because with this one you do have to wait a little bit for you to see the actual tan. Like a few hours or something like that, I'm not even sure how long this takes to develop but I did notice like it doesn't show a tan right away and sometimes I'm looking for like an instant tan so um, you have to wait like maybe overnight or something. I feel like every time I woke up I noticed a little bit of a difference but um, when I put it on straight away, there was no difference. So yeah, I feel like I like foam and like instant tanners as opposed to uh, this one. But it is a good self tanner if you do like lotion tanners and you don't want to spend a fortune because this one's affordable and it's on ColourPop's website. Next product up we have is actually a perfume and this is by, oh, uh, what's the brand called again? Good Chemistry. Um, and this is the Sugar Berry Perfume. So I found this at Target a few years ago. I live in Canada, so I won't be able to pick this up again because we don't have Target here and we cannot travel to the States. So um, I wish I could pick this up again because it is so good. It smells like freaking, oh my gosh, it smells like cotton candy or like just, it's so sweet and just, ugh. It just smells so good. It's like candy. I don't know. If you like sugary sweet scents, then you would like this scent a lot. It's so good. And every time I wore it, I got compliments. So definitely a good perfume. Um, I think it's made with essential oils as well. Like I don't think it's like, I can't remember, but um, I'm pretty sure it's like an essential oil or like more natural perfume brand. I think that's the section I got it in at Target if I remember correctly, but this was like going back a couple years so I can't really remember but yeah if you do have a target in your area I would definitely go pick this up if you like sweet scents I have three skincare products here so let's talk about those um, the first product I have up is by drunk elephant and this is the best number nine jelly cleanser um, and this is like an a cantaloupe scent this is just like the mini size I got this as a Sephora birthday gift um, a year or so ago I can't remember uh, but I did really like it I mean I feel like it's a good cleanser I didn't really notice like a huge difference between like this and other cleansers and this is like a pricey cleanser so I don't think that I would pick this up again just because I can buy good cleansers at a way more affordable price point but this is a good one if you do like high-end cleansers um, I can definitely recommend this then we have this glam glow um, super serum six acid refining treatment so I picked this up in a boxy charm pop-up sale like I don't know a while ago and I really really like this I mean I haven't used a ton of glam glow products but I did think that this was a good serum um, it has kind of like a black licorice scent so if you don't like that scent then you probably won't like this um, but it's not like overpowering it's very minimal um, I didn't really care for the scent but it didn't bother me too much as like to not use it so I definitely like this so this contains six acids it's a super acid blend with lactic acid pyruvic I don't know if I'm saying that right um tartaric 
manzalic, glycolic, and salicylic acid. So this is like really good for keeping your skin clear. I noticed that when I use this in my skincare routine, my skin stayed pretty clear overall. I did get a few breakouts like here and there. Uh, but I think they were like hormonal. I don't think like they were just random. But yeah, like I really, really like this. It kept my skin nice and clear. And I mean, I would probably repurchase it again. Maybe um, if I could get it on sale. I don't think I would pay the full price for this. Um, if BoxyCharm ever has like it in their sale again, I may pick it up in the future. But I do have a lot of other serums that I want to use um, in my collection and other serums that I'd probably want to purchase before repurchasing this one. So it might be a while, but it definitely is a good serum, especially if you struggle with acne. I feel like this would be a good serum to incorporate just because it does have that acid complex to it. So it would definitely be purifying for your skin. And then the last skincare product I have here is by Maraud, and this is the Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. Um, so I got this in a BoxyCharm and I loved it. I feel like it made a really big difference in my eye area. Like I feel like it reduced the wrinkles and fine lines in the eye area. When I smile, I don't really have smile lines in my eye area. So I really, really like that because I used to have lines. And ever since using this, like every day religiously, those have like basically disappeared so I'm really really happy with this product. It is pricier but I probably would buy it again just because it works so well for me. Um, hopefully I can score it on another BoxyCharm like pop-up or add-on so I don't have to pay full price but I would definitely recommend this eye cream for anyone that's like age like 25 and up. I don't know if you have wrinkles already or if you want to just prevent wrinkles definitely check this out. It is really really good. Okay, moving on to makeup. So I have two brow products here that I used up. Um, they are both from Benefits. They are both mini sizes. I got these in Ipsy bags. Um, so the first one is the 24 hour brow setter and the other one is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. So this is my favorite brow pencil probably ever. So I'm definitely gonna repurchase the full size. Um, I'm using up a couple other brow pencils at the moment. And then the brow setter, it is so good. Like it literally locks your brows in place like forever like your brows will not budge all day long it really is 24 hours um, I talked about this in my favorites video not too long ago I think that was two videos ago um, yeah and I raved about this and I still love it and unfortunately it is empty now but I will definitely purchase a full size of this next up we have two eyeliners so I talked about this eyeliner in my last favorites video as well um, the ColourPop cream gel eyeliners this is the white one in the shade exit this is my go-to my favorite eyeliner to wear just because it brightens up the eyes I'm actually wearing it right now I don't know if you guys can tell but yeah I absolutely love these and will recommend these to everyone they are super affordable they come in a bunch of different colors and yeah they're just bomb so definitely go check these out and then the other eyeliner I used up is by Hank and Henry and this is the slick with it black liquid eyeliner in the shade Blickety Black. I love that name, that's so cute. But yeah, I absolutely loved this eyeliner. I got it in a BoxyCharm and I fell in love with it. It has a brush tip applicator, which is all disgusting right now because it is empty and dried out, but it is so amazing. It literally makes it so freaking easy to do your eyeliner. Like, oh my gosh, I've never had more of an easy time doing a winged liner than using this liner because it just works so well. It is so black and it does not drag or streak or anything like that. It's so opaque. You will not regret trying this, trust me. It is so freaking good and I'm definitely gonna be repurchasing it in the near future. Then the next product up I also talked about in my favorites video. This is the Big Ego Mascara by Tarte. Um, so yeah, this is my favorite mascara of all time right now I currently have not tried a mascara that I like more than this one and I have tried a lot of mascaras like so many this is by far my favorite one um, not only is the packaging absolutely adorable it's like hot pink with gold lettering like oh my gosh could you get any cuter so I love it just for the packaging but the mascara itself is just so freaking good um, I think I showed you guys the wand last time but I will just show you again so there we go that is the wand. So it's a bigger wand, but it literally makes your lashes look so incredible. It gives so much volume and length to them, and the brush on it separates your lashes so well. So I can definitely recommend this like over and over if you guys are looking for a good mascara. Yes, it's a little bit pricey, but I mean, I think it's worth the money. Um, I got this in a BoxyCharm as well, and they always have it 
on sale on BoxyCharm's pop-ups and add-ons. So if you want to subscribe to BoxyCharm, you could get this mascara as an add-on or in one of their pop-ups that they do every three months. Um, yeah, so I'm going to link my BoxyCharm down below because I did get a few of these products in BoxyCharm and I always want to talk about it because I just think it is such a good value. It's $25 a month and you get five full-size products. Um, so yeah, this was one of the products I got and definitely worth the $25 because this mascara on its own is like $25. So yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome. Next up, we have this Milani uh, Make It Last setting spray. This is supposed to be 16 hour wear and it says you can prime, correct, and set with this. So I think this is a great drugstore setting spray. Um, the only thing I did not like about it is the mister on it. Like the sprayer is just a little bit too like water gun for me, you know, like it's not super fine. It does leave like big droplets on your face, I found, especially more towards the end. Um, so I don't know, I just wouldn't repurchase it for that reason alone, but it is a good affordable setting spray if you are looking to try one out. I can definitely recommend it for the actual, you know, product itself. Like it does work well, it's just the mister on it is a little bit Mm, you just got to hold it kind of far away from your face so you don't mess up your makeup But other than that, yeah, it's a really good setting spray So I can definitely recommend this and the last two products I have that I used up are lip products So the first one I have is by Kapari and this is the lip glossy Oh my gosh, you guys this lip gloss is so good. First of all, it smells like coconut, which I personally love I love anything coconut scented and it just makes your lips so freaking glossy and it literally lasts like forever on your lips I found that I hardly had to reapply this like it just doesn't like soak in like a lot of other glosses and like lip balms um, I use this more as like a lip balm instead of like a gloss because I just wanted like something to like nourish my lips throughout the day and this lasts so long and it just smells so good and yeah I absolutely love it so definitely recommend this and then the last empty product I have is by Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and this is a liquid lipstick in the shade Diva. So it's like one of the mini ones. Um, I got this in a set, I think it was like the Rainbow Equality set or something like that. And it's a really good lipstick, like the formula on it was really, really nice. It wasn't drying at all. Unfortunately though, it did dry out like in the bottle after like only a few times of me using it. Granted, I have had this lipstick for quite a while, but I just didn't use it that often. The other ones that I have that I got with this one aren't dried out, so I don't know why this one specifically dried out, but yeah, it sucks, um, but it is a really pretty pink color. It has like a little bit of shimmer in it. Um, so yeah, I do like the formula on these. But yeah, that is everything I have gone through in the month of April. And I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.